1,123.8 mile line from the Kukulkan vectors itself on the Great Pyramid, or vice versa. The tangent to mile message here is so obvious that no further explanation is really necessary. And that's only the beginning. For the terminally skeptical, I would like to add the following. This tangent from the Kukulkan was also utilized as a square root. You see, its square is 16.44934. And that is what the eye on the human face at Poverty Point sees when it looks at Florida's huge panther mound. 806.52 statute miles away, wearing a tangent of 16.44934. So put all the cubits, kilometers, and Roman miles away. They are clearly degenerated from an original foot mile metrology that antedates everything we've ever found in the written record for ancient metrology. Remember, it doesn't take too much to change any metrological unit. The crooks and the mighty have been doing so since as far back as the written record is able to reach. Whatever best serves an existing system will be activated, and one doesn't have to read very far into ancient metrology to see it. It's recorded as far back as the time of Solon, circa 550 BC. It was he who, for political reasons, tried to impose a system of measures based upon the sextarial system. But the people liked the system they were using. It was working. The battle continued for a few hundred years after Solon went into transition. But the establishment ultimately won when drastic steps were taken to completely eliminate the existing metrological system from the memory of the people. It's been going on ever since and shows no sign of letting up. It's just a matter of time before the foolish metric system is force-fed to the lot of us, and the foot and mile will disappear. And Mallor's measurement for Temple 1 will be the only one permitted, 759 centimeters. Temple 1 will go silent again. And the steps on Temple 2 will refer only to the moon. Regrettably, there are those who would dearly love that. Keep the secrets of the pyramids shrouded in mystery. Let no one know truth. So, best we find out what we can, while we can. As for pie, well, they won't be able to dispose of that by passing a law. Pi, the key to a higher level in the matrix. Yet, how are we to distinguish between the rational pyramid and the irrational pi pyramid? Do we look for summits that were built off center? Mounds of unusual shape, like this cross mound at Tarleton, Ohio? An abundance of right angles in a ground plan? Certain effigy mounds? Wildly corrupted designs? It requires a well-trained eye but for they who haven't figured it out, there is another way, a much more difficult way. Dig them, gut them, and when they refuse to give up any human bones, well, the odds are that's a pie monument, excluding, of course, intrusive burials. The Serpent Mound is a good example, nothing there, just dirt. How do we know it's a pie monument? Because of its grid latitude, 1421.223. It's one of those constants they used 
but which we have never heard of, a pi multiplex. But how is one to glean such a pi multiplex from this mound? After all, it has no terraces, no 90 degree corners, no stairs, no temples, no on-site clues. We cannot see pi here because we weren't supposed to. The serpent belongs to still another level of the code. In that level, one must be in possession of Giza data. For example, the Micarinus Pyramid. It was originally 226.194 feet high, that figure being best remembered as 72 pi. The Egyptologists don't know it yet, and I dare say they will not care to, but the Micarinus was a true miniature of the Great Pyramid another 3D model of pi and double pi, which means that when we multiply its 72 pi height by double pi, it will become the length of its perimeter baseline. 1,421.223 feet. 12 inch feet. But the grid latitude of the serpent mound shows the same thing the 12 inch foot once again being transferred outward into the global grid system itself we have much to learn at Giza and we should learn it because the ancients knew it and we don't want them being smarter than us for example notice the longitude of the central Kifrin pyramid 11.77245 seconds to the west of the Great Pyramid. That figure was known all over the ancient world. They even left us the proof. For example, it was the reason why Stonehenge and the Serpent Mound are where they are, separated by 3,865.14 statute miles. The tangent of which is Kefren's longitude. So don't mess with the snakes. And let's try to protect this one, despite the fact that those charged with its care have recently lost their funding. England protects Stonehenge as a national treasure. It is only fitting that we do as much for Ohio's Serpent Mound, indeed all of the aboriginal monuments which were bequeathed to us by the primitives, who, as it turns out, were better advised in a number of high sciences than we are. Pi, cryptography, metrology, tangents keyed to distances, and state-of-the-art global positioning. Clearly, this long-lost culture placed more value on knowledge than life itself, and they went to absolute extremes to ensure that those of the future, maybe us, would find our rightful inheritance. The choice is ours. We can ignore it and stay where we are, or learn from it. The pyramids are ours once again. Until next time, then, I thank you.